Hello and welcome to yet another outwardly experience. Today we will make a mechanic fixing point, a basically sort of a jobs kind of thing, where if you take a damaged vehicle and go to a certain point, it'll fix your vehicle. And for this we are going to use three entities. One, text label, two, collision shape, and three, markers. So, let's get started. Now, the first thing that we need is a static list public variable. Probably did not say it in the right order. So it's public so that I can access it from everywhere. A static, that means if an object is created from this class, then another instance of this variable will not be created. It will be only created once. So public, static, and then list. And I will have the data type of this list as cold shape. The name of this list, I will keep it as fixing points. There we go. We will make a constructor for this class. So public mech. And in the constructor, we will create the object. So far, we have only declared the object and we will create it. So fixing points is equals to new list cold shape and that is all. So now that we have created the object, in this object I will add all of the collision shapes that a player could create for the fixing points. So we will make a command for let's say an admin. So command, the name of the command I'll keep it as create fix point quite a long command anywho now the callback so public void cmd fix point the parameter will be only clients client player now here comes the main part we will create a marker text draw and collision shape so and we will only save the collision shape let's see mm, first let's create the marker so marker no NAPI NAPI dot marker dot create marker and the first property for this parameter is the marker type so I will use a downward arrow so marker type the upside down cone the second one is position so I'll use the player's position and I will add one Z to it so that it is a little bit above the player's position vector 3 I will keep the X and Y 0 but the Z I will increase by 1 then we have direction I'll just keep it a new vector 3. Rotation, same. Then we have scale, 1. Scale being how big it should be in respect to the original shape. How big is it going to be? I'll keep it to the original shape. Then we have color, so I'll keep the color of the arrow, let's say green. Color. 0, 255, 0, and then 255 for the transparency. We have up and down bob, I don't need that. Now the marker is created, we will create the text label. So, NAPI.textLabel.create text label. The first parameter is string. So, um, come here to fix your vehicles the second one is the position so we will use the position of the player so player the position then we have the range 1.0 f size again 1.0 f then the font I'll keep it zero the color let's see I have the marker as green. I'll keep the color green as well. So new color 
zero comma two fifty five zero two fifty five see through I'll keep it true and lastly we will create a collision shape so for this I will actually use an object to store the value cold shape col is equal to any pi dot cold shape dot create cylindrical cold shape there we go now the parameters for this is position again player position then we have the range 1.0 f then we have the height again 1.0 f and the dimension i'll keep it the default value now what we will do is we will add save this object of the class cold shape in the list fixing point which is of data type cold shape so fixing points dot add and then inside I will pass cold so now I have all of my collision saved in this list so that when a player enters a collision and we use the server event we can use this to figure out if they are inside the collision shape where the player so vehicle should be repaired or not. So this is all you need for creating that spot. Now we will use a server event. So server event event dot player enter call shape. A public callback public void on enter call shape. The parameters for this function is cold shape. I'll name this shape and the client player. Now, what we need to check is if the player is inside a vehicle or not. If they're not, then we won't do anything. But if they are, so player dot is in vehicle. If this is true, then what we will do is we will go through all of these points and check if it is equals to this point that the player is currently entering the shape if it is if there is any point that is equals to this one then we will fix the player's vehicle so we will use for each for each and inside we will make call shape item in fixing points now we will check if the shape dot equals the item, this item, which will traverse through every element which is present inside fixing points. If it is equals to this, that means it is the point where the fixing should happen and nothing else. So let's fix the vehicle with player dot vehicle dot repair. And we will send a notification to the player. Player dot send notification. We will format this. You have fixed your player dot vehicle dot display name. There you go. That is all you need. Now let me test it and show it to you. Give me a second.